Well, hi guys and girls, Emma again, welcome back to the spare room. This is part five of this little boiler build and it's well overdue. I've been putting it off for a few reasons, but here we go. Uh, next job is to tack this plate in. Now, it's got to be lined up this way with the tubes. And it's got to be level. And it's got to be high enough to clear all these holes. And it's got to be low enough so that the tubes are long enough to go through. So what I've done is just found a bush and sat it all upside down on that. And what I think is probably in the right spot. I've got three sticks of 45% silver. Um, gold tip, I think, which someone's... carefully sticky tape together for me for the courier if you're having trouble getting good silver solder and in this day and age it's still sort of something that's very difficult to find especially 45 percent the air conditioning guys probably the best they seem to have a good range at a reasonable price so so nice clean tip And some silver solder and some flux and again I'm just using the paste borax flux it's pretty good stuff there's more than enough in there to last most people a lifetime Give it a stir up so we've got some some actual paste on the end of the rod and run a little bit around there Everything's really clean. It's been in the pickle bath again. I think I forgot to say that this top plate here is a nice tap fit in there. So, with, with any luck at all, If we can tack it in a couple of spots, it's not going to fall in. That's the theory. So I've got this pretty well tacked in, it's, it's more or less welded, it needs a bit more heat to flow around it when we get it standing upright again. But I've just sat all these tubes in here in the right holes, nice and even and neat, and they're sitting on both ends plates. And I'm going to tack these on this end, and then I'm probably going to stand up and weld the bottom, and stand it up the other way and we're going to weld all this properly. So there's a fair bit of work in this, this particular operation. A uh, little brush and some flux will be first, and then some solder, 
and or some heat and some solder and we'll see how we go with it I pickled this again in between so be very very careful not to knock these back in and we're back where we started So we've got a fair bit of work here. What I've done, because the camera's in the way and you need a bit of concentration, what I've done here is silver soldered all the bottoms of the tubes and the bottom bush there, which is the blowdown valve. That's getting pretty hot. I mean, it is pretty hot. Um, really, it needs a bit of a pickle up before I go any further, just to see how it's looking. So I'm going to let it cool down a little bit, and I'm going to put in the pickle. There's a fair bit of heat there, and I'm I'm struggling to have enough to, to do the job. But this is what I've done today, and it's getting pretty warm in here. So I'm going to give it a miss for the rest of the the rest of the day. Whether I'll get some more done tomorrow, I'm not sure. But we've got what I think is a pretty good seam around the bottom of all those tubes. And looking at the, the other end here, we've got them reasonably well tacked, but that wants a good clean up. So when that cools off, I'm going to quench that and put it Probably straighten the pickle like that. And this is what we end up with, but pickle will clean that up. I've got those soldered, I've got these all tacked. There's a fitting to go in here like such which has the safety valve on it and the steam outlet for the for the, the dryer and then to the manifold uh, as far as silver soldering goes I've got to do all that and I want to give that a good clean up and just see how it looks I've got a piece to go in here that I'm sort of in the process of making up that I'm going to silver solder in for a door. This door will be basically to light the burner and also to open the blowdown valve if we need it. So that's why that's right in the doorway there. So that's what I've done today. It's a bit of work in it. I'm going to pick it up and we'll have a bit more of a look. So here we go. This is a couple of sessions later. I've actually spent a fair bit of time on this this week. Um, it's Friday night and this is the final sort of soldering job I think. This isn't too bad. Um, I've been pulled up in a comment this last week about um, 
tonight actually about me saying things will be good enough and to be honest usually they are we have a whole amazing um, resource in precision tool makers who share stuff on YouTube and they tend to work to exact intolerances and with amazing finishes and with amazing thoroughness and that's all very well but I also have friends and I'm sure some of you are in this category that yes it's it's all okay to do that but you go and take two cuts and a lathe and discover that you're not holding your two tens tolerance and your service finish isn't as good as it could be and probably making four of them the same is a bit of a challenge so don't give up realize that what you're making is always better than what you made last time and you're learning something and the same with this it's I say this is good enough but it's way over engineered for what it has to be this has got a good row of salt around here there's a couple of spots there that are a little bit hollow but they're not pinholes there and there um, there's plenty of solder around there this has got a good really good run round here and really good run round here and around the ends I've got this one this bush actually in and it's going to need a bit of a a careful file off and I might just do that before I go any further uh, this one has a fitting screws in here with a, a heating tube or a, a drying tube comes around here and then out here out the fitting in the back and the safety valve screws on the top there's a, a dome cap that goes on the top here and then there's a chimney comes up these two are for the water gauge in the front I have to make a jig to set them up nice and square this one's for the pressure gauge and uh, it's got a siphon on it that's a little bit smaller uh, this one here is for the water filler um, about the middle there uh, that's where the pump goes in this one is for the blowdown valve and that's about all the all the all the fittings so far this has been pickled up and it's it's been scrubbed a bit cleaned most of the whole flux off it and um, just a little wire brush and a just got a little parts brush which is great for that sort of work and a bit of elbow grease and some sort of steel wool and it's coming up pretty good so that's what I've got silver soldering goes a lot easier if you can get the job you're working on hot enough for the silver solder to run that's sort of the most difficult thing and something like this just absorbs heat and you've got to just keep pouring it in and pouring it in and pouring it in having it on a fire, brock, fire bricks help and the bigger the flame the better just to to get it up to temperature and then when it's up to temperature that solder will run around there like water so that's sort of the the secret is to get it hot enough and get it clean enough but um get in and have a go if you're interested in building a boiler that's starting to look pretty good next job's fire hole door put the bushes in start thinking about the top so fittings in here probably the the steam dryer or the superheater and the manifold on the back and then a pressure valve a pressure relief valve a valve for here all the other fittings and things it's an ongoing series it might take a while to get finished but anyway thanks for watching i thought they might need a, just a quick update on this because it's been a while Making boilers isn't a real cheap undertaking and to make anything much bigger than this is not only in copper but in solder and in gas. Uh, there's two, about two sticks, two and a bit sticks of silver solder there and there's a fair bit of gas, a fair bit of heat to get this too hot enough to solder it because you've got to get everything hot, it's copper so the heat transmits you've got to get everything hot not just the, the little bits there that you're soldering. 
anyway thanks for watching uh, don't forget to like and subscribe all that stuff leave a comment uh, good or bad um, I don't take offense very easily and I really like to share what I'm doing and to if I can help in any way with anything let me know be kind to each other more soon guys and girls